Children of the Moon. In the town of Brisden, nobody leaves their home after dark. As soon as the sun begins to set, shutters are drawn shut, candles are snuffed out, and doors are locked tight. Before the moon is fully risen, the entire town appears deserted, and silence reigns supreme. Did you hear that? whispers Frida, sounding very small and afraid in the dark. Shut up, her older brother Frude hissed through the clenched teeth as he eyed the black windows of the house nearest to them. They were probably locked. Nobody in their right mind would leave their windows unlocked at night. Not in Briston, anyway. I told you we shouldn't play in the forest, continued Freja. I said we should go back sooner, and I said to shut up, Frude went on. Whining about the past doesn't change the present. Frude looks at, looked at his sister, shivering in the dark. Doesn't change the situation we're in. Before Fruja could ex respond, the faint sound of a child's laughter floated across the wind. Goosebumps erupt erupted along Frude's neck and arms. Something about the sound seemed wrong. Maybe there's other... Frude clasped its hand over Fruja's mouth, pulling her in close. He shrank back into the shadows of the alley. Again, the unearthly sound drifted across the air. Fruja danced in Frude's arms as he realized the magnitude of their situation. A child's voice, oddly distorted, broke the silence of the night like a fist through glass. Come out, come out, wherever you are. The thing lumbered across the mouth of the alley, just a few feet from Frude and Frage's hiding place. It was roughly the size of a child, yet shuffled with its arms hanging grotesquely close to the ground, making its disproportionate body appear markedly ape-like. It was completely nude and had no skin, and had skin so shockingly white that it reflected the glow from the moon. The thing turned its shimmering, bald head towards the alley as it crossed. Its face was completely smooth and entirely devoid of feature, save for an impossibly wide smile with thin lips of the color of blood. The crimson slash of its mouth appeared to stretch from ear to ear. Frude felt warmth spread down his thigh, and his bladder let go. Frigia whimpered. The thing ro froze mid-stride, its body becoming as rigid as stone. Slowly, it turns its torso until it was facing the alleyway. It took a tentative uh, step forward. Freja sucked in a sharp breath through her nose as she began to hyperventilate. Frood clamped his hand over her mouth, but he was too late. Impossibly fast, the thing twisted its head toward their hiding place, producing a sickening crackle from its neck. Found you. In the town of Brisden, nobody leaves their house after dark. Every day, young ones are sternly told to be home by dusk. They are told that the evil that haunts the streets at night, they are told to remain silent because if they hear you, the children of the moon will tear you limb from limb.